Hi, this is Michael, VK5ZEA, from Port Lincoln in South Australia. And uh, I thought I'd show you inside my SG237 antenna coupler, which normally lives on the back of my vehicle. You might have seen that uh, very briefly in another one of my YouTube videos. Uh, I've been having trouble with the HF in the car, not tuning on the lower frequencies. Um, and I thought it might be earthing because of the braid had all corroded, so I thought I'd um, investigate further. And I, and I pulled this off and I noticed that it rattled. And uh, you might see this empty space here. Well, this inductor has come away from the uh, from the circuit board. The actual the legs have broken off right at the on the PCB. And um, I thought, well, I can I can fix that. And I looked a little bit closer, and it's it's really not bonded to the circuit board. None of the bigger components which are loose are bonded physically to stop them from vibrating. Um, you will see a little tiny piece of a silicon uh, sealant there and a matching piece in here but that that doesn't that wasn't a bond that just went across I mean it's not it's not under here they just put a little smear of silicon across it um, and normally the practice would be that um, you would get in here and, and run a bead along the coils and none of these coils have any other any, none of the smaller coils have any sort of bonding they are, they all they all can move they're all quite um, quite flexible and um, what's even more disturbing there's a, a little transformer here and um, you notice that's it's just there's not, nothing on that as well it's it's just free to move and now this is um, okay if you've got it installed in a house where it's not going to move but in a vehicle where a lot of these smaller antenna tuners are used um, and vibration is expected on a, on a vehicle it's a bit of a shock that um, a lot of these uh, components like that aren't uh, aren't bonded to the circuit board and um, there's no evidence in any other coil of any other type of sealant and normally what I would do is I'd um, put a little smear or a little blob of uh, a bead of silicon between along in there and and along in here to to physically stop that from from moving so hopefully it's repairable i'm going away in a couple of weeks and i wanted to have this uh, have this all fixed so i'm gonna have to um carefully uh replace this and, and do a better job of uh of bonding these bigger components um it, it do, did seem to work okay on the higher frequencies so hopefully there's no other damage I'm, I'm assuming this is some sort of um, uh, matching device because it's, this is the RF input right here so I'll have to uh, investigate further uh, it's been a good tuner like I really really enjoyed it I had a an ICOM AH4 tuner before and um, it just did not seem to work very well with shorter whips and uh, this one worked very well but um, if I'd known what I know now, I would have um, would have popped the cover off and uh, just just sealed a lot of these uh, components or bonded them to the circuit board a lot better. That's just unacceptable in my in my book. You just you just don't have uh, components like that of that size just floating on on two little legs. Because um, I, I come from a, a marine electronics background and uh, and fishing boats and boats in general are a harsh environment for electronics and uh, whenever you've got large components you just make sure they're they're not going to jump around they're not going to move there's no vibration no stress on the uh, on the component leads um, so there you go uh, thought of you you'd be interested to see inside one of these things uh, it seems to be very well made of course being made in the US all of the uh, all of the fasteners are all non-metric which I'm not sort of used to but um, that's fine um, but it seems very well made and uh, apart from this uh, little issue with the uh, the inductors breaking free, which would probably explain why it doesn't work on the lower bands, uh, it's been a really good tuner. Anyway, this is Michael, VK5ZEA, from Paul Lincoln of South Australia. Seven threes for now, and I'll talk to you again soon.